Hey there and welcome to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan inspiration. We're back at Aldi and today I have a probably a little bit of a bigger haul to do. Uh, my covers and cabinets and things are pretty bare right now. I don't have a lot in the house. So if you could please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out guys and if you're ready, let's go shopping. Here we are, we are back from Aldi. I also stopped at Wegmans just to get a couple of things. And let's start right over here in the produce like we usually do. I don't have them separated between Aldi and Wegmans, so I'll let you know what I got from each store as we go. Here I grabbed a bag of onions. These are all from Aldi. Um, so I grabbed a bag of the yellow onions. I also have two bunches of bananas here because we eat those every day. My husband and my son both eat them. I grab some celery because I go through a lot of soup. I make a lot of soup and stock and things like that. So I needed to grab some more celery. I grabbed this big bag of kale. How much is it? It's 12 ounces, 12 ounces. This thing is huge in size, if you can see it. This usually lasts me for several meals. I usually end up having to freeze it about halfway through the week because I don't go through it fast enough. But it works great in soups and stir fries and things like that uh, after it's frozen as well as fresh. Uh, also over here, I grabbed some broccoli. I'm going to be using it in a stir fry this week, making a like, sesame uh, chicken. A mango. I decided to grab a mango. I've been thinking about mangoes a lot lately. It's been a while since I had some mango. So I grabbed one because I saw that they had them on sale at Aldi this week. I grabbed two packages of mushrooms. So in total I have a pound. Um, these are the Baby Bella mushrooms and I like to use these in stir fry dishes and things like that as well. I will put mushrooms in almost everything. I grabbed some strawberries. I like to keep fruit around, see if my son will eat them, but I also like to eat fruit during the day as well. So we grabbed a package of strawberries this week. And then also uh, the last produce I have from Aldi is I grabbed this cucumber. Aldi was out of their regular cucumbers completely this week. So uh, I grabbed one of these English cucumbers and even the English cucumbers seemed kind of uh, small for what I usually see there, but that one, this one, it was probably the best size one that I saw. And then wrapping up the produce, I got these both from Wegmans. Uh, <laughs> I grabbed this monster red onion. Uh, this thing was up at the price up. It was over $2 though. And I'm not going to lie. That is kind of expensive for an onion Wegmans. Just saying. Same thing here with these Green onions, Aldi was completely out of them. And I think that Aldi, it's usually like, I don't know, 89 cents. And you get that big package of them that I usually have in my videos when I buy them. But I only got this small bunch from Wegmans and these were 99 cents each. So once again, uh, overpriced produce for Wegmans. Not shocking though. Moving on. Uh, back here, I also grabbed this soy milk from Wegmans. They were once again out of silk, but they were out of all of the silks this time. The, the only soy milk they had was their own brand, so I grabbed that. And then in front of that from Aldi, I grabbed the heavy cream. I'm going to use this in several dishes. As well as you can see right here, I have cream cheese. I have four packages, so like in total, there is two pounds of cream cheese. 
and I have been asked to make a cheesecake for somebody that my husband works with birthday. So that is what this cream cheese here is going to be for. I'm also going to be using some of the heavy cream in that as well as why I bought this yogurt. Uh, the recipe I have calls for sour cream. However, I like to replace uh, Greek yogurt with sour cream in everything that I use. I have never noticed any problems with using that substitution. So go ahead and use that if you don't like sour cream. Uh, moving down from Wegmans, I grabbed these waffles. These are for my son. I'm just gonna keep these in the freezer for now. And then uh, down here at the bottom, these are all from Aldi. These are also going to be for that cheesecake. So I grabbed two of these bars of dark chocolate. What I'm going to use these for is I'm just going to shave them down and use them as like a garnish on top of the cheesecake. And then I have uh, these chocolate chips here. These are the really good, one, good ones. These are the specially selected ones. The Belgian, they have semi-sweet. And then they also have a dark chocolate, which is like 60% cacao. And uh, these are pretty decent chocolates for chocolate chips, especially at a discount store like Aldi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt these down with some of that heavy cream. I'm going to make a ganache topping that's going to go on the cheesecake because it's going to be an espresso cheesecake. And then the last thing for this cheesecake, I am going to scrape off the cream of these Oreo cookie knockoffs from Aldi. And I'm going to use the cookie part as the crust. Okay, so then the other things we got from Aldi here is I grabbed some of the shredded Parmesan cheese. I still haven't seen the bags anymore. I guess they're just done with the bags of shredded Parmesan cheese, which is fine, whatever, these will work. Uh, so I grabbed a, buck, a bucket of the Parmesan cheese as well as I have a package of the American cheese. And then I'm also using a uh, mild cheddar cheese as well as I grabbed some Swiss, and these this can be used for like sandwiches and stuff. Uh, the mild cheddar cheese, this is going to be used for dinners. Next to that, I grabbed a bag of coffee, the house blend. I like this one just as like my everyday coffee. Uh, it's not too light and blend, and it's not too dark. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste, so this one is a nice happy medium for me. No pun intended, being a medium roast. Then I grabbed some eggs, you know, just to restock up my egg because I don't have any more. Behind that, I grabbed a couple pantry staples that I was also out of this week. So uh, we grabbed a, another jar of peanut butter. Once again, this is the natural peanut butter. It has the oil separation. I usually store my peanut butter upside down like this before I open it. So that way, when I do go to open it, it's less work having to stir all that oil in together. Next to that, I also grabbed some garlic powder because I had to re-up on my garlic powder. Behind that, I grabbed some of these apricot preserves. These are specifically going to be used in a dish, but they can also be used as like peanut butter and jelly sandwich ingredients. And then this wasn't on the list, but I grabbed one of these because these ones are really good. They've had these for a little while now in their like charcuterie display section. Uh, they had like wild garlic stuffed peppers, and this is the urban cheese stuffed peppers. I really like this one. The garlic one is a bit salty for me, but uh, they are, as you can see, these cherry peppers, and they have like a cheese filling in them. They're really good. So then what else we have over here? I grabbed some of this turkey. Uh, so the Castlewood Reserve Turkey is probably my favorite one from Aldi, but I wanted one that was a little bit cheaper. So I went for the Lunch Made Deli style. This one also has no nitrates or nitrites in it. No artificial preservatives. Uh, but this one is just a little bit of a lesser amount. The Castlewood is a pound and this one is nine ounces. From Wegmans, I grabbed an extra firm tofu. My Aldi at least has been out of their tofu for quite some time now. And to be honest, I'm not even sure if they're planning on getting it back or not. But I went ahead and I grabbed this extra firm tofu. It's going to be used in a curry. And then one non-food item from Aldi that I grabbed were these cleaning erasers. They're like the Mr. Clean Magic erasers, and these are great. I have white sinks, 
So these are really nice to use on that as well as a whole bunch of other things when you have pets and kids. Uh, over here, I grabbed this. I ended up having to get this from Wegmans just because Aldi didn't have any of their coconut milk. But this is also going to go in that curry that I'm going to make with the tofu. Another non-food item. Uh, I have these baby wipes. These are for my son, obviously. And it's 216 count the thick and quilted baby wipes just to restock on those. As well as for my son, I grab these squeezes like I do every week just to make sure he's getting his fruits and vegetables. They're organic. I particularly like to go for the ones that have the vegetables in them, not just the all fruit, but they do have so many different flavors. And then uh, what Aldi had in their on sale, because they're trying to get rid of all their Christmas stuff still, were these candles. I ended up buying one of these for my mother-in-law for Christmas as a Christmas gift. And I'm so glad that they're on sale now because I really wanted to buy them because uh, it smells so good. This one is the hot buttered rum. Uh, and yeah, it just, I really want to eat this candle. It smells that good. But they have a couple other scents too. It was like peppermint and um, balsam and something like that. Yeah. So these ones are on sale right now for like $2.99. They're basically half the price that they were. Okay, so a couple other pantry staples that I had to restock on was the soy sauce. I usually get the light soy sauce, you know, with the light salt, but they were out of that completely, so I settled for just the regular original soy sauce. But surprisingly, they had honey mustard this week. Uh, a lot of the times I go and I'm looking for honey mustard, they don't have any, so I was able to find at least one, so I grabbed that as well. Behind that here, I grabbed these flour tortillas. These are the large burrito ones. These are great for making like um, burritos or breakfast burritos, uh, quesadillas, things like that, because they are so large and they're super cheap at Aldi. Next to that, I grabbed bread because I'm completely out of bread as well now. So I grabbed two loaves of bread just so I can keep one in the freezer. I like to always just have one on deck just in case. Uh, I grabbed this last week, the 48 ounce chicken nuggets, and they actually still had a bunch of bags. So I <laughs> happily grabbed another one. I can never have too many chicken nuggets in my freezer. So we should be stocked up on chicken nuggets for a little while now. And then popcorn, this is from Wegmans, not Aldi, because uh, I don't think Aldi carries the whole kernel popcorn. I've looked many times. I wish they did. They do carry microwave bags of popcorn, but uh, I like I like the whole grain popcorn because then I can season it myself. I can control how much oil and butter and things like that that go into it. I don't even use butter at all, but I like to pop it with some... Uh, Salt and garlic powder, onion powder, and nutritional yeast, and it is a really good snack. So then behind that, they had uh, these here last week. If you saw my video and you remember that uh, I grabbed the dill pickle ones. Now they were all out of all of them, like pretty much every single one. They had three bags of the chili lime chicharrones left. So uh, as per my husband request, I grabbed one of these because he mentioned that he would have liked to try those last week. And we're getting down to it. Just a couple more things here. Uh, I grabbed these clubhouse crackers. My son really likes to eat crackers lately and uh, my husband is really liking these crackers too. So I ended up having to buy two boxes this week just so that I don't run out and I've been running out of them really fast lately. And then here we got the graham crackers. These are graham, just regular graham crackers and these are also for my son to be able to eat as a snack. And then the last thing, I do believe this is the last thing, a coffee meat creamer. This one is the creme brulee. I got this from Wegmans uh, because at Aldi, Aldi only had a couple of the French vanilla left. Again, it didn't even look like they had gotten a shipment in from the last time I was there last week. So I thought I would take my chances at Wegmans just to see what Wegmans had, because Wegmans is always usually pretty stocked with their creamers. I never had a problem at Wegmans. Uh, but I got there and literally every single creamer at Wegmans was gone except for this one in particular. They had a whole bunch of those and they had literally nothing of anything else. So 
that is what we ended up with this week, which is fine. I'm sure it's good. But that is it for this week's weekly grocery haul. If you need some meal plan inspiration, go on and stick around. I have it coming for you right now. Okay, here we are with this week's weekly meal plan. And then so for breakfast, um, I can do waffles I have in my freezer or I can, oh, we have spoons falling. Okay, so I can do peanut butter on toast and then I can serve that with some fruit. I have those strawberries, I also have bananas uh, and yogurt. And then lunches, I can do sandwiches of all kinds. So I have like turkey and Swiss, I also have turkey and cheddar. I can do peanut butter and jelly, I can do tuna. And then I'm gonna serve that to my son with some crackers if he's still hungry and I will give him a squeeze as well. On to dinners, Monday I'm making a red curry Thai tofu and that is just going to be like a red curry sauce with a bunch of vegetables and some rice and that tofu I'm going to bake up nice and crispy. Tuesday I'm going to be making just some breakfast burritos with uh, I have a bunch of potatoes and uh, I have eggs and things like that so I'm just going to be making up breakfast burritos for that. Wednesday, I will be trying a cheeseburger macaroni. If you're familiar with like Hamburger Helper, it's going to be along those lines with like a homemade version. I've never made anything like this, but it's one of those convenience meals where you basically just have the, you know, the ground meat and the macaroni and some cheese and you throw it all together and you make like a little sauce and it's like a one pot type dish. So I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. Thursday, I'm gonna be making some soup. My soup this week that I'm gonna make is Zappa Toscana. It's gonna have that kale. It's also gonna use some of the ground turkey that I bought last week. Friday, I'm going to be making turkey burritos. Instead of using beef, I will be using up the rest of that ground turkey to make these burritos. And then Saturday, uh, that Wagyu that I bought last week, the ground Wagyu, I'm going to be making sweet and spicy Korean meatballs with it. And I will be serving that over some rice as well. And then last but not least on Sunday, I'm going to be making up, I have a couple of chicken thighs left in my freezer from a few weeks ago. So I'm going to be making up a sesame chicken stir fry with some broccoli. And I will probably serve that over a bit of rice as well. But that is it for this week's grocery haul and weekly meal plan inspiration. So please make sure to give this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys all next time. Thank you so much. Okay, I love you. Bye.